Oh yeah, hi lad, everybody. Um, this is um, a video response to Eugene's uh, video uh, called. Um, it, it's a little bit of a rant video that he's doing. And um, by the way, Eugene, uh, first of all, good luck on being back at school and stuff like that. I hope everything goes okay for you, except for the math end of it, of course. And uh, I know you're having problems with that. Don't we all? I'm crap at that as well. But um. I think it's a great idea that you're going to be doing this, you know, every now and again, just having a little bit of a rant and stuff like that. I think it's a cool idea, and I uh, look forward to seeing many more of them. Um, anyway, I just wanted to make a quick response about the video that you that you've made, and um, basically, um, this is going to sound a little bit maybe far fetched or anything like that, but. I've been thinking about, you know, the way you were saying that you find math really difficult and stuff like that there, and everybody finds something difficult, but um, when I was a kid, my teachers just were convinced I was as thick as shit. Now, they probably weren't too far wrong about that, but when my eldest daughter uh, started going to school and stuff like that there, she started experiencing problems uh, with writing down letters. Now, I was able to relate to her problems because I had exactly the same problems when I was at school you know I, I can't see I can't see uh, letters and words and, and and they're all jumbled up and sometimes if you put a different color like a perspex color in front of you you can see the, the letters you know a bit like your 3d glasses type of thing anyway um, educational psychologists came out seen our daughter and they after a long time of evaluating her and stuff like that there decided or came up with the conclusion that she was dyslexic now because we knew our daughter had it and stuff like that there then I done a couple of tests and it turned out that I had dyslexia as well so all these years when I was at school and my teachers were hit me around the head and just calling me a thick git and stuff like that there I had a genuine problem um, couldn't relate to certain things um, now, my wife being the type of person she is, she went to college. Now she's a, she's a very very bright person, my wife. But in order to be able to help our daughter, she went to college and done a course on dyslexia, so that she could, you know, help our daughter understand the condition a lot better, and be able to apply certain things to. Um, homeworks and what have you know just to, just to make life a little bit easier for our daughter anyway one of the things after listening to your video and stuff like that one of the things that struck me was she told me that there was um, a condition also dyslexia isn't just about letters dyslexia is about numbers as well now the, the version of dyslexia for numbers is this dyscoolia I think it is this cal. I don't know. She said it. It's something. It's something like this. This coolia. This cal. This calculo. I don't. Know. It's something like that. Um, she's up the stairs bathing the kids at the minute, so I can't ask her. But it. But there is a version for it. Now, one of the symptoms of it so, is that. No matter. I mean, if you take yourself, Eugene. Right, you're a very bright person. On all the other sides of things and stuff like that, there, like your memory, you've got a really, really good memory, but when it comes to numbers, there's just parts of it are just blank. Well, that's the same as me with letters and stuff like that. That's just blank. No, hey, I'm not trying to say you're bloody dyslexic or anything like that, mate. But it's so you know it's something maybe worth looking into because if you do have it, then you can you can you can bang your head off a brick wall for the next 30, 40 years trying to do something to do with math and it's just never going to work un until maybe something like that's happened. Um, so so that, that's all I wanted to say really about in this video and um, going in your other, in your video you were saying you know about when you were sitting in the classroom and stuff like that there you, you, you have this pressure where you know everybody else around you or you think everybody else around you is just sitting there and it's a breeze and you know, I can remember exactly the same thing at school, but it wasn't math for me. It was bloody everything. <laughs> as far as I was concerned, everybody knew the rest of the stuff, and I was just sat there. And I just the, 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 one of the main reasons why I joined the army, actually, as far as I was concerned, you know, I didn't need to know. 
mathematics or I, you know, I didn't need to be a wizard English to pick up a rifle and learn how to go and protect somebody or whatever, you know. I, I, education wasn't important to me back then. But that was a silly outlook to have, by the way, just in case anybody else watches this video and thinks that's a good idea. It's not. But anyway, this is just a quick video response to Eugene and um, hope everything goes okay for you, mate. That's going back to college and what have you and uh, no doubt you'll be able to overcome this thing soon enough because at the end of the day you know you've got what a lot of people don't have and that's highly you're a highly intelligent person and um, you've got a lot of common sense as well so you'll be able to sort it out one way or the other so speak to you later mate and uh, take it easy